What's up, what's up? So you wanna learn how to operate a reefer? Let's show you. All right, all right, guys. So, today I'm gonna to be showing you on a Thermo King S600 precedent unit. All Thermo Kings pretty much operate the same. Carriers are just slightly different, but it's the same general concept. So, with the Thermo King units, you're gonna have four buttons on the bottom which control your menu settings. You're gonna have your four, uh, two buttons to each side. Your on button, which is on the top, your off button, your defrost button, and then your cycle sentry continuous button. Cycle sentry is start stop. When it gets to the certain set temperature, it will turn the reefer off. If it drops below or above that temperature, it'll turn it back on. That way it saves you a little bit on fuel. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. It does take a minute for it to turn on. It goes through all of its prompts, its diagnoses. While it's pulling up, I'll also show you how to run a pre-trip and how to clear codes on it. Those are the most common things that you're gonna have to do with a reefer unit as well as set your temperature. Uh, with that being said, this reefer does not have any codes, but I will force it to generate a code just to show you guys how to do it and what it looks like. Now on all reefer units, up here you'll have a little light. This over here, that black box, that's where your light's gonna be. On a Thermo King, It'll have a white T, like you can see right there, if it's clear and there's no issues. If it has an orange K, then lights up. That's how you'll know there's an issue. And I'll show you that when I force it to generate a code. So right here, this is the temperature that is currently inside the trailer. Over here is your set temperature. So as you see, I have it set for negative 10, but it's currently 20 degrees inside the reefer unit itself. Wait for it to turn on. And I apologize about the shakiness of the video, guys. I don't have my tripod or anything out today. So down here at the bottom, as you can see, you've got your set point, gauges, sensors, and menu. So the first thing I'm gonna do show you how to do a pre-trip. So you'll go into your menu option. First thing that's gonna pop up is pre-trip. Yeah, pre-trip, alarms, gauges, and sensors. Select the pre-trip, it's starting. It'll run through all of its pre-trip settings and then it'll either tell you pre-trip pass or failed at the end. As you can see, we still have our white K up, or our white T up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and force it to throw a code by turning the pre-trip off in the middle of it. Now when we turn it back on, we should get an orange K. Let's see if we do. System. And like I said, guys, it takes a minute for it to start the reefer unit up. Oh, and yep, I don't know if you can see it or not, but see the light down there at the bottom where it's showing the orange? That means we have a code. As well, it says, free trip aborted alarm. So it pulls up, and all you gotta do, you'll have exit, clear, and help. We'll hit clear. No alarms, exit. If it doesn't give you the option on the screen, You'll hit menu. You'll scroll down 
to alarms, select it, and then from here you would have a button here that says clear, but we have no alarms now. So we'll hit exit. To change your set point, you hit set point. You go up or down, depending on what temperature you need the reefer unit set at, and you have to hit yes. If you do not hit yes, it will not confirm the temperature and change the set point. You could end up ruining a load if you forget to hit yes. As you can see up here in the top corner, it does have the two dots with the circle around it over here. That means that it is in cycle century or start stop mode. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it, how to operate a reefer. It's not hard to do. It just takes a few minutes to figure out how to do it. But I appreciate you guys watching my videos like always. Uh, every week I will post one to two new videos up on my page. Make sure you do hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell so you get notified when I put out new videos. As always, stay safe. Don't do anything I wouldn't do.